hi guys hope you all doing well welcome back to our channel and in this video I'm going to talk about Microsoft endpoint manager now this image that you see over here is basically an architecture overview of what exactly Microsoft endpoint manager portal is and my agenda is to make you understand each and every component that is listed on this particular image altogether okay but before I go ahead and explain every component of this particular image altogether. Let's start from the beginning because it's very important for you to understand why Microsoft has clubbed all the device management into one single console, okay? So let's begin from on-prem environment itself. To manage all your on-prem devices or domain joined PCs, we were using either SCCM or Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. But in a nutshell, the agenda was to make sure we have device compliance in place, we have app deployment in place, we have security patching, inventory management. Now these are very basic four use cases that should exist in every endpoint manager solution. Right now, this is what we were doing dedicatedly when we talk about the on-prem implementation of an endpoint manager solution, right? And now since SCCM or Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager Portal was a dedicated on-prem implementation. It had its own dedicated console. Now, when I say console, I'm referring to the GUI itself from where you were creating all the settings and all the policies, right? But what we also know that we have Microsoft Intune, which is a cloud native solution, which helps you get devices joined to Azure Active Directory and then get onboarded to Intune itself right but the fact is that what is the basic difference sccm or microsoft endpoint configuration manager is a dedicated on-prem implementation whereas microsoft intune is a dedicated cloud native solution which offers you mdm and mam capabilities in a nutshell if i talk about the use cases it precisely remains same right we have policies to create device compliance or we have policies to have device configuration policies we have app deployment inventory management and obviously security patching but there was one more benefit of using Microsoft Intune because and in a nutshell it was that it has made the iOS onboarding and Android onboarding a lot more easier with the help of one single app company portal right now think about like this when we talk about Microsoft Intune if you recall we were actually using any of these two portals right now manage.microsoft.com has been retired long back but when we talk about portal.azure.com as a console as a portal it still exists but it doesn't give you any option to control or to configure the settings which are more over related to Intune right now if let's say endpoint manager portal does not exist let's assume right then in that case the console to manage all the intune settings were manage.microsoft.com or portal.azure.com right but we know now that these portals does not exist now the question comes that which portal i should go or where I should configure everything which is more over related to Intune or where exactly Intune configuration exists. Now the answer to that is the portal that you have to log in is endpoint.microsoft.com which is Microsoft Endpoint Manager Portal. Now think about Microsoft Endpoint Manager Portal as a unified device management or as a unified endpoint management which gives you the privilege to control and configure all the settings which are related to your on-prem devices as well as your cloud native devices, right? But if you recall and if you think about like this that there is one more state and that state is typically termed as co-managed devices right now this kind of approach were typically followed by those enterprises which were trying to migrate their entire on-prem endpoint management to intune that means there is a state wherein a device can be onboarded to endpoint configuration manager and from there it gets onboarded to Intune as a co-managed device and in these kind of deployments the workloads were shared right either between endpoint Microsoft uh, 
configuration manager or let's say Microsoft Intune, right? This third category that we see here is basically shared workloads, right? Now, in a nutshell, think about like this. You have to manage all the devices, be it on-prem or be it cloud, right? Now, why you should go ahead and manage these devices from two different consoles altogether? Right, so that's why Microsoft Endpoint Manager Portal is a unified console to manage all the devices that exist across your enterprise. And this is the same console which is going to help you with all the typical use cases which our Endpoint solution has to offer. And now comes the best part, or let's say the other features which were combined with Microsoft Endpoint Manager Portal, and one of them is the most important one which can be typically related to security aspect itself and that is the direct integration with microsoft defender for endpoints which was commonly known as microsoft defender atp right now see endpoint manager portal a unified device management portal that can help you manage all the devices that you are onboarding either on-prem or to microsoft intune but Microsoft Endpoint Manager is also directly integrated with Microsoft Defender for Endpoints. Now, Microsoft Endpoint Manager Portal also gives you the option to configure Windows Autopilot. That means zero touch deployment for all the endpoints that you're going to onboard. And then this is the portal, which is obviously directly integrated with Azure AD. Now, there is a very specific reason behind having this unified approach in terms of combining all these things together and that too with one single portal, which is Endpoint Manager Portal itself. And I will explain this with the help of an example. Okay, think about a scenario wherein your endpoint has been compromised and it will be reported to Microsoft Defender for Endpoints for sure right that means that particular device hold a typical risk altogether right now since endpoint manager portal which is endpoint.microsoft.com is closely integrated with microsoft defender for endpoints as soon as any risk is detected for a typical endpoint that device will be highlighted as a non-compliant device and the moment device is non-compliant, Azure AD is going to help you in terms of blocking all the access on that particular device, right? Now, this is the entire overview of what is Microsoft Endpoint Manager Portal. It is one single portal that can help you manage all the devices and which has all the security integrated features, right? Now, I would like to summarize this with two different statements. Neither configuration manager nor Intune is deprecated. What you have to understand that all the configuration that you were doing for Intune is now available on endpoint.microsoft.com, right? And there is a close integration that has happened between SCCM or Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager and the Intune itself. And every feature that's moreover related to Endpoint Management is now available on one single portal, which is endpoint.microsoft.com right and that's why it is termed as unified portal okay now let's come back to that image from where we started this video okay think about this particular layer which says console for admin for microsoft endpoint manager portal it's one single console for all the configuration that you have to do all you have to do is you have to log into endpoint.microsoft.com and that's it you'll get the access to all the settings that can be configured from an endpoint protection or endpoint management perspective, right? The next thing is the combination of configuration manager and Intune, right? What does this typically mean that any device that has been onboarded to your on-prem Microsoft uh, Endpoint Configuration Manager or SCCM or any device that has been onboarded to Intune can be managed from this particular console itself. Now, when you see over here other tools, it basically means the integration which is being defined for Microsoft Endpoint Manager Portal with the other services to make it more resilient, to make it more reliable and scalable. Right now, the first thing that you see here is intelligent security. This is the same example I was discussing, wherein a device is falling under the scope of a risky device that is getting 
implemented in Intune as a non-compliant device and then Azure AD is blocking all the access. Now as you can see if you go to endpoint.microsoft.com and then if you'll go to endpoint security. Now this is the console from where you can directly integrate your MDATP which is now known as Microsoft Defender for Endpoints directly with your Endpoint Manager console. Right now, if I come back to the console or if I come back to the deck again, it says unified management, making a lot more sense because there is one single console to manage all of your devices. Right then, zero touch provisioning, which is moreover related to Windows Autopilot, and then obviously, since everything is powered by cloud native solution, it will have advanced analytics as well as deep M365 integration. Right. So this was all about knowing what is Microsoft Endpoint Manager Portal. I will be sharing the link of this particular deck in the description section. Please go ahead and read that document as well. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. If you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.